Hello everybody, my name is Ragna and today I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to get shaders for Minecraft 1.10.2 and this will be run on Optifine, so this will be a fairly simple tutorial and it should be over in just a flash. So without further ado guys, I'm going to get straight into the video. Alright guys, so what we're going to do first is you're going to download Optifine 1.10.2 HD Ultra and the link for that will be in the description below. So after you get that downloaded, you want to double click this and this uh, little s screen will pop up and it's basically asking if you want to install it. Now you want to click install right here, it should be done in just a second, there it is, alright. Once you have that in done installing, you want to go into your percent amp data percent. So the uh, fast easy way I like to do this is by clicking right here, right next to the search uh, file explorer. You can click right here and then delete this, then type in percent app data percent. Next you want to go to your dot minecraft, so double click that. Okay, next you want to get this uh, folder installed so to do that you would right click then you go drag your mouse over new or you drag your cursor over new then go to folder then you can create a new folder uh, then you want to name it in all lowercase shader packs I'm not gonna do that because I already have it but you get the idea Alright, so once you get your folder shader packs, there will be nothing inside, but I'll have links in the description for all of the shaders mods that I use and I find really nice as well. So I'll have these in the description below. Uh, after you download whichever one you want in the description, I will, you would want to drag and drop them into this shader packs order that you just created. Um, and yes, after you have that done, you want to open up your Minecraft. So we're gonna go straight into Minecraft. Alright guys, so we're back. So what you want to do next is name this profile to whatever you like. I'm just gonna name it tutorial for the sake of this video. Oh. Then you want to go down to use version. Then you should have this because you already downloaded it earlier. Next, you want to click Save Profile. Then you want to scroll down and find where your, that profile is and just run it. Oh. Uh, Minecraft is opening up now. Now, what you want to do is just run any type of thing. I'm just going to make a new world. Alright, it's generating a new terrain. Also, if you saw that weird mouse glitch bug, bug thing on the screen, I don't know what's happening, but uh, I guess the recorder is acting up again, so I don't know. Yeah, and then after we're in here, you should have your shaders, and it's all set to go. All you have to do to activate yours would be go into your options, your video settings, your shaders, and then you can select it since you've already dragged and dropped it into your shaders folders. And if you wanted to add more, as again, just click the shaders folder and it will take you straight to it. And um, so yeah, guys, that's that's just about it. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and a comment if you have any problems with it. And, um, yeah, 